Thanks, brother, man. <laughs> I went back to Idaho. I was back in August for the first time in two and a half years. Not been back because of a lot of other kind of shit. Showed up in my hometown, you know, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Friends of mine come up to me going, oh, my God, Dave, you're so thin. Are you healthy? You, you all right? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine, because this is the correct size you're supposed to be at this age. <laughs> I was getting this from my friends. Yeah, Dave, I put on a little lockdown weight. I'm like, yeah, that'd be true, Bob. If lockdown started in 1997. <laughs> I couldn't believe it how my friends let themselves go. Just, I don't know what the fuck it was. Running into girls I went to high school with. They were smoking hot when they were 18. But now they're on the dirty side of 50 and, and the menopause stick is beating the shit out of them. And, <laughs> and they, forgot, they forgot that when you get older, everything gets hairier and closer to the ground. And... They're in denial because they think a pill is going to be invented to make him young and sexy and pretty and thin again. So they're still wearing short skirts and they shouldn't because now they got knees look like cute Chinese babies staring at the sun. <laughs> and. And they were crazy, and they were crazy when they were younger, so they got the tattoo of a unicorn on the side of the foot. But now with the water weight, it looks like a gay rhino. And, <laughs> and what's sad is they still believe America's a god game. They haven't woke up, they haven't read anything. They go, America's number one. They haven't realized that America is fucked. They have no national health care, so people going bankrupt trying to pay hospital bills. And the separation of wealth is going to put them out in the fucking street. But they still vote for the same people to make all this shit fucking happen in their lives on a regular basis. So they're raising their children in the false hope. Bobby, what are you going to be when you grow up? And little Bobby sitting there in this fat cheek stuff with Happy Meals going, Oh, I'm going to be president, Mommy. <laughs> and she's like, That's right, Bobby. You're going to be president of the United States. What else are you going to be? And Bobby's like, Fucking hell, Mom. Shouldn't overshot that first one. Um, something really important makes a lot of money and the world loves you know like an actor like that George Clooney guy you like she's like that's right you're gonna be president George Clooney get out there and make mommy proud okay mommy I sure will but that's never gonna happen man because Bobby doesn't have the money or the intelligence or the schooling or the family backing or the looks so Bobby goes up and becomes a carpenter pretty good carpenter but he always felt like he left his mom down so he takes handfuls of antidepressants tastes it with a whiskey one night goes on a bender shoots a hooker in the face looks like his mom and then drowns himself in a ditch out of guilt <laughs> that's kind of, that's kind of america in a nutshell right now right <clears throat> This whole bullshit about I have freedoms, I can do what I want, fucking January 6th, we'll take this country back. Oh shit, I got caught? Oh, poor me, boo-hoo, I'm a victim, I need rehab. Oh look, I'm Harvey Weinstein. So... Uh <laughs>